boom, shakalaka, we are done. So now we can officially run this application on my Mac. Whew. Hey guys, I was just hacking around with the latest Xcode 11 beta, and yes, Project Catalina, Project Catalyst is up and running, and this is how you get your iPad apps easily working on macOS. All right, my friends, we are doing it. We got Xcode 11 beta, and we're about to convert my iPad app into a Mac app. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So you go into the project settings, you go into the target, you click on general, and boom, you got a new option called Mac. And this requires Catalina. All right, no code is gonna change, and it's just gonna set up all the security and sandbox according to the iOS application, and it's just gonna do it. Let's see what happens. Boom, shakalaka, we are done. So now we can officially run this application on my Mac. Let's see. Register the device. Failed, again, failed. All right, as you can see, officially, it's not as easy as it looks, but maybe it's because it was signing. Let's see the request for it. So this could be an easy fix. We just need to agree to lace this agreement and you just need to agree. So back to the Mac. Let's see if we can run it again. I'm just gonna restart Xcode and see what that does. And hopefully we're gonna get this working today. I'm excited about this. Planning build, it's doing something different. It's building, it's building it. All right, so you just need to quit Xcode after you agree to the new agreement and it will compile. It's doing it right now. I'm excited. Oh no, I failed. Got a couple of issues. There it is. So location manager is not supported. Photo assets aren't supported. I'm just gonna comment this out for now. Let's just get this going. Maybe should. Oh my god, what is this? There you go, it's the map, Mac application. I can't even speak, I'm getting crazy. All right, iPad. I'm gonna go iPad Pro, run that, and we have the application running. I'm back right there. New patient, okay, it's a bit all over the place. Treatment pad would like to access your photos. That's exactly what I do on the iPad, and of course. It's, uh, yeah, I need to get the photos differently on the Mac, but let's just run that again on the Mac because that was pretty sick. I like that. Don't show this message again. Stop. Got an iPad right here, and it should launch on the Mac very soon. Built for Mac. Boom. Look at that. An iPad application is running on the Mac side by side. Not really much to show, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. But here, oh, this guy's crashed for some reason. N nice. Ah, it's just saying that he wants to access my photos. So I'm saying, okay, yes, access my photos. That menu comes in like that. iOS, of course, comes in like a pop-up. Hit this card, runs really slow on Macarena, Catalina. This guy runs faster. Oh, that's sick. Whew. Happy about that. Bare bones, but it's a start. Super simple. Launch Xcode 11, go into your project settings, hit general, boom shakalaka, there's a new option called Mac. You take that, it won't change any of your code, but it will set your project up with support for Mac. Of course, there's a lot of files that need modification. For example, I couldn't access the photo, photos assets, and I couldn't access location manager. I just commented my code out and got the app running and it ran. It was a bit buggy. However, some stuff was on the screen. So I'm very excited for this because as older as I get, the lazier I become in rewriting the whole architecture of the world from scratch. So I like reusing code as long as it works well. And I think this could be a real fun way to just get your iPad apps Mac OS ready.
It will require a bit of tugging and pulling. However, I think with time, this technology is gonna get better. So I hope you enjoy porting your apps to macOS, Macarena Catalina, and let me know how it goes for you. Eh, Catalina, ay.